This is Harding Football with Coach Ronnie Huckabee. Hi and welcome to this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee after the Bisons go on the road, beat number four Henderson State on Saturday. And uh, Coach, a lot of excitement at throughout Bison Nation. I know after the game, uh, Bison fans were, were tweeting photos and we're we'll getting a chance to look at some of these. This one from Noel Whitlock uh, right down on the field after the football game was over. An impressive uh, victory and, and just uh, the, the, the fans just had such a great time with this victory over number four. Um, Henderson stayed on the road and uh, Dr. McClarty with a great photo right there, I thought, Coach. Uh, it was a lot of fun, Billy, and I guess, you know, when you think about the, uh, the gamut of emotions that we experienced over the course of the last seven or eight days, you know, when you come off of the tremendous disappointment after the LBU game, losing in the last, you know, six seconds and then going into overtime, basically, and, and, and uh, then the recovery period, you know, we had to get our minds right and get refocused on Henderson State because we knew we were going to be playing one of the top teams in the country ranked four in one poll and two in another. <clears throat> and then to watch our coaches work during the course of the week and watch our players respond to the game plan and uh, you know, the, the feeling of coming together and uh, you know, reinvigorating ourselves and getting ready to go down and play in tough conditions. Uh, late no or I'm sorry, late October, you don't expect to be playing in 85 degree weather it felt more like Labor Day than it did uh, late October. But, of course, I can't say enough about our players and how they responded, and so proud of them. It was, it was a great day for Harding football. You talked last week about <coughs> persevering, and it was a perfect example of that on Saturday. Your football team trailed the entire game until inside the final minute and uh, able to pull the victory out on the road and, and uh, stuck together and never wavered on Saturday. I did talk about perseverance last time, and, and that is one of the things that we emphasize in our program. And you know, we have a, a little abbreviation, IWPWE, that means I will persist without exception. And late Saturday evening, I tweeted uh, that a shout out to the Harding Football Brotherhood because today we lived IWPWE, and I meant that from the bottom of my heart. Those guys uh, did persevere; they uh, were very resilient. And those are the things that you take from the game of football that you say, okay, I, I know I can make it through tough times. I know I can handle disappointment. I'm going to keep sawing wood. I'm going to keep working. And whether we're talking about a, a relationship, a marriage, uh, you know, raising kids, uh, getting along with people at work, uh, getting along with people at church, uh, those, it, that requires work. And, and I think it's a great metaphor for for those things, and that's one reason that I love coaching and love this game so much. And we saw those photos and how excited Bison fans are about Bison football. And coach, we're living in a tremendous time in Bison football history because so many, it seems like every week we're talking about something new is occurring. The 71, 72, 73 teams had an outstanding run where they won seven straight games on the road. That was broken on Saturday with a road win. Your team now uh, has won eight straight games over the last three years and now also uh, 24 straight games uh, as far as or 24 not 24 straight but 24 games over that period breaks the record from 71 through 73 also. Your comment about us living in great times for Harding football makes me think of all those you know those things that have led us to this point the the pioneers in our program like uh, Dr. Gaines, Dr. Joe, Pinky Berryhill, the guys that you know were instrumental in, in returning intercollegiate athletics to Harding. And then Coach Allison, we, we honored him last week. And of course, I can't help but think of Coach Proc, my coach. Uh, and this year is the 50th anniversary of his becoming head coach at Harding. And, and I think about those teams in 71, 72, 73, because I was a freshman in 73. And uh, I I think about all the hard work that he and his coaches put in, and then we, we look out and we see the things that we have today, the beautiful city complex that's in honor of Dr. Jim City and all of the countless thousands of hours he's given to Harding football and, and uh, other people that have you know, been so generous with their money to give us the, you know, the weight room and the team room and the, the training room, which is second to none, and the beautiful turf stadium. and. Uh, 
the, the video board now. Uh, we really, really are very, very blessed. And when you think about how, how awesome it is right now, you have to think about the people that got us to where we are today. And uh, so grateful. It's time to look at those highlights, Coach, because they were a lot of fun uh, on Saturday, the enjoyment, just a great college football game, and I know they're going to be fun for us to go back and look back at the victory on Saturday at number four, Henderson State. We'll start with first half highlights right after this. We explore dozens of complex subjects, but sometimes the world sees college students as being the same, lumps us together. That's okay, because the world may underestimate what we can do as strong, responsible, highly trained and confident Christian professionals. And isn't that what the world needs? Qualities taught one-on-one -on -one and valued by us all in a place of faith, learning and living. Harding University. So, I'm kind of new here, but I've noticed a trend. My human does this funny thing where she goes around and gets all my toys and then she hides them in that basket by the door. You know, but it's always the same basket, and it's always in the, in the same place. And then she acts so surprised when I find them, but, you know, she's putting them in the same basket. Again. It's like, hello? That's where you put it last time. You were the worst at hide-and-go-seek. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bisons, a big victory on Saturday on the road at Henderson State, 28-24. And we get a chance to start by looking at first half highlights with uh, Ahmad Scott here on, on the first drive for the Bisons. We get the ball pitched to Ahmad, and uh, you know these guys did a great job of limiting our explosive plays. They made it pretty tough on us, you know, but we did four and five yard them. And uh, this first initial drive, we, we did move the ball. Uh, Come with the bootleg right here to Romo and look at that athletic move that he makes to jump over that guy. We really enjoyed looking at that last night as a football team. We watched the highlights together just to kind of uh, relive the moment. This is another option pitch to Ahmad. Boy, he is so close to breaking that thing into the end zone. We end up getting a field goal, which is unusual for us. Super proud of John Gay because John has not had many opportunities to kick field goals this, this year because we've been so proficient in scoring touchdowns. I'm in this play here by Darius Lane. This is Darius Lane taking the ball from their receiver and running it back and getting us back into positive territory inside the 30-yard line, inside the 25 actually. That was a tremendous football play. Yeah, and Coach, at this point you're down 7-6 uh, after this field goal. So very important to answer Henderson's opening score. No doubt about it. And, you know, we feel like we're, we're in the thick of a great football game right here, which we were. And, of course, they score again and go up 14-6. to six. See some history right here. And uh, then Ahmad gets this kickoff return, gets some great blocking, and watch him walk the tightrope right here, staying in bounds. Tremendous athletic play by Ahmad. And that's the longest kickoff return in Harding University history. You have to go back to 1969. Bill Watts had a 96-yard return against Arkansas Tech. We're proud for Ahmad and for all the guys on the kickoff return team. Those guys have been really close all year long and, and proud for them to get one in the end zone. And that was a huge answer, I thought, at that point of the football game as well for your football team. There, there's no doubt about it. Here's uh, the triple option, the quarterback keeper, and uh, Keenan ducks it up in there and gets five or six. This is the toss to Jason Aller. Jason does a great job of making a move inside, keeping his legs churning, getting the first down. Uh, as I said, they made it tough on us, but we did get a few uh, triple options. This is Eric Kelly with a beautiful move, getting down inside the 20 yard line. We're on the move, feel great about it. Now that was not good. You know, We ended up getting a fumble uh, exchange on the midline, and uh, you know they get the ball back. And, and Keenan we, probably saves a, a touchdown right there with did. that tackle. There's no doubt that he did. Another option pitch to Ahmad, and he gets the first down. Uh, we converted a bunch of third and fives, third and sixes, uh, and we're going in at halftime. We're down by 11 points, 24 to 13. But I think everybody on our team felt good about it. You know, we we there was no panic. Uh, as usual, our coaches went in at halftime and made really, really good adjustments. And uh, 
we were able to come back out and have a great second half. How do you explain the composure other than obviously I know you've got a great coaching staff and I know you guys work so well together, but the composure after Henderson State had just kicked a field goal to push the lead to 11 right there at halftime and there was no panic when your team came out in the second half. Well, part of it was I, th I think how we had moved the ball. You know, we'd been in there positive territory. We had to settle for a couple of field goals and then we ended up, you know, losing the opportunity to score there because of a fumble. But we knew we could move the ball against them, and our defense had done a great job of, of, of stopping them, slowing them down, and uh, we, we just really felt good about it. There was no panic. Uh, I, I think we've done a great job as a culture of saying that's not going to be a part of who we are. We're, we're not going to panic. We're not going to lose our cool. We're going to keep, uh, keep our thoughts collected and make good decisions, and those good decisions aren't going to allow us to be in every football game. And there were so many big plays in the second half. I don't want us to forget about that 97-yard kickoff return from Ahmad Scott. What a huge play that was. That was a huge play. You know, you, you think about it, that's, you know, they're up 14-6, now it's 14-13. And then when you add the other scores on top of that, 24-6 to would be a pretty big hole to come out of it at halftime. So, yeah, that, that ended up being a very critical play in the football game, one of the reasons that we won. So the Bisons would get the football to begin the third quarter, and we will get a chance to look at third quarter and fourth quarter highlights right after this. So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. kitchen surfaces, utensils, and hands with soapy water. One in six Americans will get sick from food poisoning this year. Keep your family safer. Check your steps at foodsafety.gov. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bison's trailing at the half, but going to get the football to begin the second half. Down 12-13, this is where your team has been so dominant, Coach, uh, in the third quarter this season. And on this first drive, we started just like we have all year long. Uh, you know, we convert the First down right there with the triple option, getting the pitch to a mod. We come back with the off tackle play to Romo. Good blocking up front. Of course, he's running hard. Uh, things are going well. They really have not slowed us down. We're moving the ball. This is a zone dive with Romo with the cutback. And here we are in great position. We do have to settle for a field goal, though. And if you wanted to panic, I guess you could think about losing your cool a little bit after this missed field goal because then you're thinking, well, maybe you know, maybe it's not going to be our day. I don't think anybody on our sideline felt that way. This is a great job with the triple by Zach Shelley. I guess this drive was the Zach Shelley show because you can look and see that you know he's converting several of these plays are on third down and he's he's converting these into first downs along with the help of his teammates that are blocking for him. This is. Petty with the uh, handoff up the middle. I'm pretty sure that was a first down conversion also. This is Romo with the first phase of the triple option. This is the dive to the B-back and gain of about seven or eight yards there. And then we come back and run the mid-triple, get the ball to Zach. Great job of running by him, getting into the end zone. Eric Kelly with a critical block out front. And uh, it's a new ball game. Huge two-point conversion we Go right for here. the two-point conversion since we were down a little bit for, as far as the numbers were concerned. We run the boot, throw it to Petty. Keenan does a great job. Mm -hmm. This was a critical play right here. This was, we, we held those guys, one of the most prolific offenses in the country, on third and one and fourth and one to get the football back and keep them off the scoreboard. We come back, we fake the fast screen to Donatella. And this is Davis Holloman with a tremendous catch. And uh, you know, that also was a big third down conversion for us. 
So proud of these guys because in critical situations in the second half, we converted third down after third down after third down. Now, this is a bad exchange. Uh, we end up losing the football, but fortunately, Keenan falls on it. This is a triple to, to Romo. This was fourth and six, and we get fourth and five, or we get five and a half. Right. And, uh, you know, this is, you, you can look at those guys coming off the field right there. You know, they, they feel pretty good right they there. They felt great. They felt like that was a critical, critical play in the game. And, it, and honestly, it was. And this is one of the biggest plays in the game to me. This is what turned it around. Dennis Buckner with the strip. Trendle Stevenson with the recovery. Four minutes to go in the ball game. Bisons have the ball on the 46-yard line going in. And I, I don't think there's a person on our sideline at that time did not think we're fixing to win this football game. And the body languages of both teams really changed right then. That play right there was critical. That's Jason Oller with a third down and three conversion. He was hitting the backfield, was not going to be denied, gets the ball across the sticks and gives us another first down. Now this, as I said, this was not easy. I mean, this no. wasn't this wasn't 10, 15. This was three and four yards at a time. Here's Keenan with the quarterback keep. This is about a seven-yard gain. And he took quite a shot on that he, play. He took several big shots in this football game, but he did a great job of running our offense. Here we go. Third and goal from the three. Get the ball to Donatello in space. He gets in the end zone, 17 seconds left, and the Bisons go up 28-24. to 24. We've seen a lot of long runs from Donatella. That one officially, I think, only three yards. But, boy, as big, as big a touchdown as he has had at Harding. There's no doubt about it. And uh, I think the stat was he's averaging his touchdowns were about 50 yards right. per touchdown. And we'll take that three yards. And a huge, all day huge long. extra point right there to push it to a four-point game. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, we did not, as, as explosive as those guys are on offense, we sure didn't want to give them a chance to tie you with a field goal. Now, last play of the game. Last play of the game, we got Donatella in at defensive end. We get pressure on the guy from our from our front four, and Bernard Plessis goes up and high points the ball, and the Bisons have upset the fourth ranked Henderson Reddies. And you can tell by our sideline and the people on the field, it was an unbelievable celebration of joy and redemption after the previous week. Uh, just such a great day for. Not just Harding football, but, but Harding University. I mean, we shared in that with all of our fans that were there. As we talked earlier, the social media exploded, and we were able to share in it with our old players. Uh, you know, everybody associated with Harding. It was just a really good thing. And only the fifth time that a Bison team has gone down to Henderson State and won. On thanks, the road. thanks for reminding me of that. <laughs> but no, that is a huge it, uh, accomplishment. Yes, and you know, I, I guess I said that because unfortunately, I've been part of a bunch <laughs> of those teams that have gone down there, been disappointed. But uh, yeah, what what a great job by our guys. And uh, you know, when we met uh, together last night at six thirty, I, I expressed my love and appreciation for our coaches and and our players. Know how hard our coaches worked last week to get them prepared. Uh, our offensive and defensive staffs, our spe all of our coaches that are involved in special teams. And then our guys, you know, they, they weren't going to be denied. Uh, they were going to leave everything out on the field, right. and I believe they did that. Some numbers I wanted to look at. I talked to you after the game about the almost 44 minutes you had the football. It felt like you had the football the entire third quarter, but the defense was such a huge part of that. Obviously, the offense with the first downs, 23 first downs uh, on the afternoon, kept the football moving, but your defense, and, and without Darius Lane there in the second half, a man short right. in the secondary. Just a tremendous job, not only up front, but also in that secondary defensively. I think the thing that you, you have to say is it was a tremendous team win. Uh, our defense played fantastic in the second half. Kept them off the board. Part of that was the fact that we had the ball for 24 minutes. We didn't let them have the football. And, you know, when our defense went out there, they got it back for us right now. Uh, we played clean on special teams. Uh, it, was, it was just a really, really good team win. And what about third down conversions? I thought that was a big part. 12 of 20 on third down on the road against the number four team in the nation and also only two penalties against your football team the entire game. That was huge. Uh, the, the third down conversions, and as we watched those highlights, you know, a lot of those plays that we were showing were third and five, third and six, third and three. And uh, some of those we converted, I think, sheer, 
by sheer force of will. You know, maybe we shouldn't have converted them, but our guys weren't going to be denied. So just uh, so proud of them. So it sets up an exciting week of homecoming coming up this week with the Bisons being at home. We are not finished here on Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll have a question from a fan for Coach and talk about homecoming right after this. Mark! Anna! Ah, 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 ah. Woo! Hey! 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 You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Because kids in foster care don't need perfection. They need you. The next 30 seconds can save you a lot of money. Just do your laundry in cold and stick to full loads. Auto-sleep your computers. Plug your gadgets in a power strip and switch off when you're done. Head it out, turn back your thermostat by 10 degrees. And drive sensibly. The more energy you save, the more money you save. Find other great tips at energysaver.gov. Welcome back to Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. The Bison's coming off a 28-24 win on Saturday. And, Coach, it was a tough loss two weeks ago. You bounce right back, and it's up and down as far as a roller coaster ride of a football season. I, I think our question from the fan this week uh, talks about uh, uh, getting ready now for homecoming, and, and we'll have a chance to uh, hear that question right now. Coach Huckabee, I'm Julius Pitts from Ohio, and I just want to know how you rally the troops coming off a devastating loss to OBU to beat Henderson State. Great question. Uh, Billy, I think it's a product of our culture. Uh, when, when you're involved in a family, which we, we consider our football team a family, it's a brotherhood, uh, a bunch of guys that work real hard together, are accountable to each other, love each other, we are willing to sacrifice for each other. When you have adversity, then you you got to pull together, and you got to remember who you are. And we talked to our team all week long about, okay, let's be who we say we are. We're guys that persist without exception. Let's prove it this Saturday. And, of course, obviously, I feel so blessed to have the coaches that I have that I get to work with. And those guys poured themselves into our players, and, and our players poured themselves into each other, and we – Talked about it all week long. We were going to respond. We were going to go down there and have a great plan. We were going to have a great day. We were going to leave it all out on the field for each other. And that's exactly how we uh, were able to be so resilient and to persevere under those circumstances. And as I've said throughout this broadcast, I'm just so proud of the guys for the way that they did respond. The victory moves the Bisons up to number 17 now in the national rankings in our southeastern Oklahoma coming in uh, this week. And, and I know that they'll be ready uh, to come and give your football team quite an effort on Saturday as they come over here uh, to play on homecoming well, at you, First Security Stadium. You're exactly right. You have to look at the way the season has progressed for them. They have won four games in a row, and they've won several of their, their four very convincingly. Uh, they won at home over Northwest Oklahoma this past week and scored 45 points basically in a half almost. Uh, and they're a very hot football team right now with a lot of momentum. They're a good football team. Uh, and, and we expect that they'll come in here ready to get after us. And, you know, we can't have a victory hangover. We don't have time for that. And to, to be honest with you, you get so few opportunities really in football anyway. We get to play 10 regular season games. That's all we got. Why would we not put everything we got into every single one of them? So uh, I feel confident that we'll be ready to play. We always play well at homecoming in front of our old Bisons that come and watch us play. And I know we're going to have a great crowd this time because we're going to you know, honor Coach Proc. The, the book is coming out about his life that Ken Bissell has done. And, so we, it, it should just be a great day for Bison football against a quality opponent. One more thought to go back to. Two weeks ago, you told your football team after the Washita game, we still have all of our goals in front of us. Obviously, you had to win on the road last right. week. Able to do that, now you have to turn the page and, and keep winning uh, here again this week. You're right in the, back in the middle of the, the playoff talk, right back in the middle of the, play, the conference race. Right, and they know that. 
they understand what's at stake. We talked about it last night that uh, we're going to pursue our goals with everything that we got, and we're going to pursue them one game at a time. And we can't get caught up in all these externals, uh, the, the prognostication about the playoffs and the rankings and all that kind of stuff. That's wonderful, but it really doesn't mean anything. What means something is how are we going to play against Southeast Oklahoma? And I expect our guys to prepare well this week and do a great job. And you also talk about the homecoming game. Don't forget that's a 2 o'clock start. So for the fans coming out, our first afternoon game at First Security Stadium. So it'll change your routine just a bit as far as for the home games. Glad we've already played an afternoon game or two. Uh, that, that always helps. But just think about it. It's homecoming, 2 o'clock. I think the high this Saturday is going to be in the 60s. Uh, the, the trees around the outside of the stadium ought to be turning and have a little red tinge to them. Uh, you know, seeing old friends, we'll have our tailgate going on that morning and the Walker Brothers at 1145 for any that's interested in coming out and supporting us in that. So it ought to just be an awesome day to be a part of Harding University and to, to enjoy the homecoming festiv festivities, which the football game is, is going to be part of. Coach, it's always great to look back at highlights with you, especially after a win on the road. Congratulations and have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, Billy. That's all for this week's edition of Harding Football with Ronnie Huckabee. So glad to have you with us. See you next time.